Yeah, working on the July run of Mega Man Maker videos in June. I like, I, I, I like the name of this.
I need to... <sighs> Man, can I go to old bat? on this. Yeah, I, I, I need total concentration. I don't know how I said it like that. Yeah. I was about, I was about to do a Kentucky Fried Movie reference, and I decided against it. on this stage. Not a bad stage. I, I really like how clever it is. But I'm not gonna do another 20-minute video. Uh... I'll turn this down. Okay, so I promised the story for the last Mega Man Maker video. Let me get that. Buy him up here to have background music. So, what happened? This happened earlier this week, as in this week in June. Uh, I was going in to see a client, and I got it, uh, and I pulled into the vehicle lineup area where you park your vehicle and go talk and talk, and go inside and talk and do stuff like that. And as I'm waiting in my car, my vehicle, I didn't make a mistake that time. This guy comes up to my window and says it. Hey, we got a line here. I'm, I'm, I'm puzzled and I'm like, yeah, I, I know. I can see it right there. You need to get out of line and get to the back of the line and let me in front of you. You cut me off. I was like, no, I didn't, and rolled the window up. That has not got to engage. Well, about a few minutes later, I mean, I did decide not to pay any attention, so a few minutes later, 
person comes out of the office comes to me and says, Hey, you need to get behind this other guy. He says he cut him off. I was like, no, I didn't. Well, and, and office lady goes, well, we don't, I don't know. It's just that we don't have any cameras back there where he said it happened. I'll say, well, I pointed at my camera and said, hey, I got proof I did not cut this guy off. And yeah, then that camera right there will say something, my dash cam. And I, and I actually said, hey, look, I got no problem with you, how you want to run your, your area here. That's up to you. I will get out and do what you say. I got no problem with that, but just keep in mind, you know, I just want proof here that that guy behind me, there's a whiny crybaby. And I actually said that. Armored airship. Now I'll play that next when I get done with this. And I went later on, I went back and looked at my camera, looked at the footage, and it turns out, yes, I did go around the guy, drive around him. But the thing is, is that he was parked about over, like, 80 feet away from the back of the line on the side of the road looking like he's taking a nap or something. I'm like, and this is the first time I'm going to this client, so I don't know what the hell to do. And, you know, that's what happened. You know, the guy was a whiny bitch, got his way. Ha ha ha, I sure show too, ha ha ha. I actually had my, I actually had a, I actually had another camera up and recording out my window. And I could see him just collect, and what did we do? To, I looked at it like he was glaring at me. I said, ha 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 ha, I sure showed to you. Yep. I, the only thing I can figure out is that since he's probably been a long time, uh, it's been a long time, trying to figure out the right word, visitor there. So he, you know, they believed him. I made sure to tell my boss this, about what was going on. Mm -hmm. You know, he had a really good laugh, but I said, yeah, I, to the office people, I called the guy a, a whiny crybaby. <laughs> Didn't say it to his face, but I said it to their face. He laughed at that. And it wound up, because of his crybaby attitude, it actually wound up costing me a couple of extra hours that day. But I'll tell another story. <laughs> Ugh. All right, get the volume back up to where it was before. I think I need to move it around minus two. 